Hi there, Taurus. Here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. Let's see what's going on with your person. What do the cards have to say today? We have an Eight of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Queen of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Tower. Two of Pentacles. Two of Sword. All right. So your person is trying to gain some sort of perspective moving forward here. They're trying to um, figure out how to move forward how to express how they feel to you, what they're desiring here. Because they, they feel like, you know, they feel like they've tried before or maybe they didn't put in enough effort. There's something about wanting to do things over. They want like a, um, a do-over here. It's like, all right, I know they know what they want. They see it. Like they see a future with you. They see a, a sound foundation with you uh, but some things need to shift here like there's a major shift here uh, it's interesting we've got the tower with the three of pentacles that's one of the combinations that um, together says that okay it's time to clear the way for a new foundation it's kind of like the um Kind of like the Ten of Wands and the Fool energy. Same type of energy. There's something about um, the Tower and the Three of Pentacles. It's like whatever whatever structures or, or foundations that um, are not... Um, uh, I'm hearing strong enough or worthy enough or I don't know if that's the right word, but that's what I'm getting. Like whatever structures, foundations that um, are, are, gosh, there's, there's something about a clearing of old rickety foundations so something new and solid can be built here. It's like your person wants to build a new foundation with you. They've got to clear out, you know, the the um, old. Like something needs to be cleared in order for this new new building. Like um, there's something about a new new foundations. We'll clarify here to see if we can make some more sense of this. This eight of pentacles here. It's like. There's a focus here. Like your person wants to focus on new goals. I feel like they want to focus on new goals with you. They know that they're, there's something they're meant to um, do and be and have with you here. We got six of pentacles on this eight of pentacles. So they're focused on, you know, bringing in an equality to this relationship, to this love here. You know, we do have six of wands here. Sixes are connected to the lover's energy. So we've got six of pentacles, six of wands here. There's like, there's reciprocity. The, your person has a goal in mind and they wonder if you have the same goals. Do you want to pursue the same things that your person does? And, and I feel like, I feel like somewhere in there the answer is is yes. There's something that the two of you are meant to um, create together. There's some sort of sound foundation that's meant to be built upon here. You are meant to uh, rise above um, whatever held you back in the past, whatever was a disappointment. Uh, we're overcoming that. We're overcoming fear. We're overcoming indecision. Um, any kind of um, energy that brings in a feeling of, of not being sure about something is being cleared here. There's something about focusing on what can be um, built here. And, and not necessarily, well, you kind of, mm, interesting. I'm getting like, there's definitely some things that need to be cleared in order to build. Uh, for a cup, tower energy. Maybe something, maybe your person is, is somehow um, 
feeling like the, some things need to be cleansed, like a sweeping. I'm getting like a sweeping energy, like literally a broom, like coming in and sweeping out the cobwebs, you know, and, and, and gosh, there's, there's something about clearing the cobwebs. Uh, let's keep going here. Uh, three of wands. Yeah, your person sees a future with you. They see a solid future with you. They know that you belong together. There's some sort of um, pre, I'm getting a pre, I'm hearing preconceived notion. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm, I'm getting like more of a spiritual connection, an emotional connection, uh, a financial connection, like something about joining forces here. The two of you are meant to join forces. There's something you agreed upon before you came to earth. Before you met each other, you agreed to um, this connection. You agreed to um, build something together, to create something together, uh, whatever that may be. You know, it could be large or small. Um, but we got five of sword here. Uh, five of sword, queen of cup here. This is in your person's thought space. So, so they think about you a lot. They think about how they feel about you and how they want to uh, create with you, merge with you, love on you, but it, it overwhelms them. You know, they, they, it overwhelms their mind. It's like they may even have, you know, a headache, like thinking, you know, thinking too much thinking, like it's too much. It's overwhelming is what it is. And it's time to shift that energy. It's time to come into harmony, make different choices, new decisions, new ways of thinking, new ways of communicating. Um, it's releasing things that haven't borne fruit is what I'm getting. So you, the two of you can build a future together. This three of pentacles is in your person's heart space. Uh, and then we have the nine of swords. Yeah, I was getting like headache energy. Sometimes Sometimes nine of swords can be um, literally a headache, you know, and I, and I was getting that from this five of swords. Like the way your person thinks um, is undergoing a massive transformation. Maybe it's it could be, you know, with this tower energy here, tower is very, um, it's a clearing energy, clearing out what no longer belongs. So maybe there's some overwhelmed. Maybe there's some anxiety. Maybe there's some um, battling of the mind, inner battle, battling head and heart, maybe, because um, we do have four of cups here also. So, you know, five of sword, nine of sword, four of cups. It's like um, trying to make sense of their heart and soul and their mind. And again, the two of you have this soul connection. The two of you are meant to Share your resources, merge your resources, um, your ideas, your finances, your your you are meant to connect um, on a deeper level so you can advance, you know, individually and collectively here. Uh, this four cup energy page of swords. So, yeah, it is very much fresh energy. It's a renewal of energy. It's clearing out old emotions, things that haven't borne fruit, rickety foundations. And again, it's 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 thoughts and emotions here is what I'm getting here. And, and a rebalancing of this relationship. Look, two of cups here. Look at these twos here. This partnership Gosh, the two of you are meant to connect and build together. It's like it's you're meant to you're you're you have a soul mission. You you agreed to meet in this lifetime while you were still, you know, in in soul form on the on, in the ethers. You have a, this soul bond, soul connection. You are you are you've had many lifetimes together and in this particular lifetime, you are meant to um connect and build together. Whatever that means, your your ideas, your resources, your your um Something about your feelings here. I mean, we got two of cups is about emotions. Two of pentacles can be about, um, you know, the physical, the financial um, piece. And then the two of swords is is the clarity of mind here. It's like there's something, there there's a balance needs to come in here is what I'm getting. And, and you're meant to connect. It's interesting. 
I'm looking for the two that is not here. And it's the, the wands energy. But yet we have this three of wands here. Six of wands, three of wands. This is like a successful connection. That trinity, you, me, us, the three of wands, the three of pentacles. It's like putting our resources together, our ideas, that creative spark, and building upon it here. You are meant to join together. Look at this judgment energy. It's like your spiritual bond in the 10-10. You know, it's like the 10 and the 10 adds up to a 2. It's like you you have this spiritual connection. You you belong together here. And again, you know, the, the, the Trinity energy, the three of ones. If you look at this particular judgment there's three people here, and I feel like this Trinity, of course, Trinity can mean a myriad of things, but I'm getting like you, me, us, past, present, future, you know, connecting. Um, there's, a, there's a Trinity energy that uh, is meant to expand. You know, the two turns to the three. There's an expansion here. Uh, there's a spiritual connection. And it starts with self. We have this um, ace of cups. You know, we're only responsible for our own cup. And when we fill our own cup with um, something beautiful, we can share it. And I'm feeling like that's what your person is doing. They're, they're learning to they're 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 expanding is what I'm getting. They're allowing spirit to pour down into their cup here. We have the inverted triangle there pouring down from spirit into their cup here and and merging with you. We've got ace of cup, two of cups, all of these twos. Like you are meant to merge together. And it's interesting, two of cup plus the ace of cup is the trinity the three you know joining forces together joining your cups joining your emotions joining your passions joining your resources sharing caring making change focusing on a new uh foundation uh it's interesting this card this card wants to come out here too this ace of wand here so a definite new beginning a new start um, sharing your resources here uh two of pentacles on the bottom of this deck so Two of Pentacles we have here twice. Let's clarify that. Two of Pentacles, seeing we have it here twice. Um, Ace of Cup here. And the Knight of Cups. So taking action on this, you know, cutting through, cutting through whatever, um, like cutting through the fog is what I'm hearing. Whatever. And again, that tower can clear out any kind of foggy energy. So the two of you can proceed here. Look at bottom of this deck. We've got the... Ace of Pentacles. So there's so many beautiful blessings that the two of you are meant to share together, experience together. And it's time for this. It's time for the two of you to unite, clear out anything from the past that is um, foggy, rickety. Um, there's a clearing of, of the air here. There's a new start waiting to move in here. All right. Let us uh, close with our Quan Yin Oracle message. We have spin the silken thread divine. In creating precious silks, there is a sorting process of sifting out that which is broken to find that which is precious and pure. You are commencing a new cycle and it is time to release that which does not align with your true heart. Choose to release all vows, agreements, and connections that no longer serve your highest good. Peace be with you. Bye now.